This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input, we will be given an integer n as input. And then we will be given an array of n integers as input. So this integer array will always be in sorted order. And now our task is to find triplets. So we have to generate all possible triplets and if it is valid then we have to print it. So a triplet is valid if the difference between the first two integers and the last two integers are same. So in this given array here 2 3 4 this is the first triplet which we can form. And this is a valid one because the difference between 3 and 2 is 1 and the difference between 4 and 3 is also 1. So this triplet satisfies the condition given in the question. So in the first line of our output we are printing it and then like this we can form several triplets like we can form 2 5 8 so 2 5 8 is also a valid triplet because the difference between 5 and 2 is 3 and 8 and 5 is also 3 so the difference between first two and last two is same so we are printing it in our output so like this we can generate several possible triplets and we have to print all the valid ones so here we have 3 4 5 so the difference between 3 and 4 is 1 and the difference between 4 and 5 is also 1. So both are same. So we are printing it in our output. So with this integer 3 as starting, we can also form several triplets like 3, 5, 8. But this triplet is not valid because the difference between 3 and 5 is 2 and the difference between 5 and 8 is 3. So it is not equal. So that is the reason why we are not printing those triplets in our output. Our task is only to print the valid triplets. So next we are going to take this integer 4 as the starting. So with 4 we can form a triplet 4, 8, 12 which is a valid triplet. Because 4 and 8 the difference is 4 and the 12 and 8 the difference is 4. So it is satisfying the conditions given in the question. So like this we have to print all the valid triplets. In case if you are not able to find even a single valid triplet then we have to print minus 1 in our output. So now let us see how to write a C program for this. So first I am creating a new integer variable named n and then using a scanf statement I am accepting the integer n as input. So now we have to accept n integers. So I am creating a new integer array named arr of size n. So next we have to create a for loop and we have to accept n integers and we have to store it into the array arr. So here we have to create a loop for that. And next I am creating another integer variable named flag and I am setting it to 0 initially. So now to solve this problem we are going to generate all possible triplets and while generating each and every triplet we are going to check whether it is a valid triplet or not. So if it is a valid triplet then we are going to print it. If it is not then we are going to generate the next next triplets. So in order to create triplets we are going to have three nested loops i, j and k. So the first i loop iterates from 0 till i less than or equal to n minus 3. So we are iterating only till i less than or equal to n minus 3 because that will be the last index from which we can form a triplet because at the next index we will be having only two integers so we cannot create a triplet of three integers so we are iterating only till i less than or equal to n minus 3 so within this we have a j loop so this j loop iterates from i plus 1 till j less than n and similarly within this j loop we have the k loop and this k loop also iterates from j plus 1 till k less than n so in every iteration of this nested loops the arr of i arr of j and arr of k so these integers will be the triplet so before printing it we have to check whether it is a valid triplet or not so if a triplet is valid then the difference between the first two and the last two integers will be same so in every iteration arr of i is the first integer, arr of j is the second integer and arr of k is the third integer. So now we have to check whether it is a valid or not. So the difference between first two will be arr of j minus arr of i and then the difference between last two will be arr of k minus arr of j. So if both of this difference is same then it is a valid triplet. So if this condition is true then we will print the integers present at the index arr of i, j and k and after that we will set flag is equal to 1 because we have found at least one pair. So finally after the execution of these nested loops we would have iterated through all possible triplets and we would have printed all possible triplets. 
in case if you are not able to find even a single triplet then the value of flag will be zero so in those cases we will check whether flag is equal to zero or not so if flag is equal to zero then we will print minus one at the end so this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge thank you for watching